Stanislaw with Motion VFX, and this tutorial is all about mixing different plugins to change the overall mood of an edit. I have a scene put together in my timeline, and I have one shot I want to use of this skyline, and it's far too bright for this edit. My first step is going to be adding a lens flare to this shot. It'll help determine where my light will be, where I'd like to carry it over in my next shot. For this, I'll use M Flare 2. And even though my scene isn't moving too much, it's still a good idea to track the scene to ensure that the flare matches perfectly. After reviewing the track, let's make a few adjustments to the flare itself. I recommend starting with a preset to see what's possible and then making some further adjustments. This isn't the overall look that we're going after, but we'll come back to this part later. Next, I'll use M Film Look to add some contrast to the scene overall. One of the really cool things about M Film Look is that you can use either the inspector controls or the on-screen menu items. Let's warm this scene up using a LUT. Inside the LUT browser, the presets are categorized by all the packs that you own, and you can view all of them right inside this library. Moving back and forth between these shots, I feel the grading matches it just a little bit more. But this one scene still seems just a little too flat. Next, I'll add a preset from M Movie Lights and give it a little bit more color and fake just a little bit of this depth. Before I forget, I want to change all the effects to be graded by the LUT. So in the inspector, I'll change the order of the effect stack. Using the vignette and shadow controls, I'll try and make this flare we put in earlier as the brightest point. Making a few more changes, what I'm trying to do is mimic the color and angle of the light to better match it to the flare and the next scene. Okay, let's check those back to back. Looks like this light is moving a little too fast to be believable. And let's make this flare a little less highlighted. Looking this over, this shot works a lot better than when we started. But just to review, let's take a look at all the changes that we made through this process. That's a wrap for this lesson, but if you're looking for more tutorials and plugins for Final Cut Pro, find them at motionvfx.com. I'm Stanislaw, and thanks a lot for watching.